lights on the mission, no fear, no hope in my vision. Don't need no intervention. You wait on the ride, there ain't even no words to come out, putting them out, and they all gonna be missing. Y'all wonder why I'm still here, cause I'm pulling on the dark. Hey guys, Sam Man back with another Funko review. Today we're taking a look at some Funko vinyl action figures. We're taking a look at the Mortal Kombat X figures. These are brand new figures. I think these are what, like four or five inch scale. Um, they don't look that great to be honest with you, but I saw them at GameStop and I didn't even know they had chases of the characters. Apparently there's a chase Raiden, I think. There's this Chase Scorpion, which I have right over here. That is the skeleton head. And then there is a Chase Sub-Zero, which is translucent, translucent blue. Now, I really don't know how cool these are going to be. I mean, they look okay. Uh, the packaging, they're on some really long cards you can see right there. And let's get you a close-up on these. Um, but again, you got the Chase sticker right over here. You got Scorpion in the package. It's a very simple packaging. And again, this is based off of Mortal Kombat X, and this is made by Funko. You can see he's got some two swords right there. And on the back, here's all the other characters. Now, these are, I, I have seen all of these in store, just I didn't see the, uh, the chase of Sub-Zero. Otherwise, I would have gotten the chase because I love translucent figures. And again, I did get this at GameStop, and it was $9.99. But um, yeah, and then you have Sub-Zero right over here. Same, you know, same style. But if you guys want to pick these up, these are available at BigBadToyStore.com. They even have the chases online too. Just click in the link in the description below. But let's go ahead and open these up and let's see if these figures are worth picking up. First uh, character we're going to be taking a look at is Scorpion. So we'll look at the accessories he does come with. He comes with two of these swords you can see right here. They're just, you know, plastic right here. And then they have the silver, uh, you know, blade. And then the, you know, the handle right here with a little bit of detailing. But, I mean, nothing too special about these. But you get the swords right here. Not a whole lot of detail to them. But these are the only accessories that Scorpion does come with. And here we have Scorpion. Again, this is the chase. This is the uh, skeleton head version. Now... The thing about this figure, this reminds me of the, I want to say like mid 80s, early 90s kind of action figure because of the style of it, the paint and the articulation. It's very, very simple, I guess, if you will. Um, so the head is translucent. I would have liked this a lot more if the head sculpt would have glowed in the dark. I think that would have made this figure a lot better. But the flame effect on it looks pretty cool. The skull on it looks awesome also. I think they should have given him an open mouth though and like a flame effect. Um, like he's, you know, the spinning fire out. I think that would have been a lot cooler. And then you have his outfit right over here, which is pretty cool. It's got a lot of cool little detailing on there. You got the belt, a few little straps and some buckles that you can see there. And then he is, you know, sleeveless and you can see the muscles that he has going on. And then you got the straps with some buckles. He's got the uh, little, you know, art, wrist guard right here going that goes around the hand also. Again, you can see all the straps and the buckles on there. So it's pretty much the same thing. And then this part right here is a soft rubber material, little loincloth piece. And you got these little belt straps right over here. And then a bunch of little straps also going around the pants. So you can see that. And then same thing with the boots that he has right there. Bottom is kind of like a glossy silver color. And then there's the bottom of the feet. Here's a back shot, quick little back shot on him. Uh, again, it's a very, very simple figure. Uh, the body's a little bit, you know, not proportioned right, but I mean, I guess it looks cool. He does hold on to his weapons. Okay, let's see. Let's get him to hold on to these. All right, so you got to kind of pry the swords into the hands, but he does hold on to these very good. Now, in the way of the articulation of Scorpion, the head can rotate. Uh, it doesn't really go up and down. It doesn't go up and down at all. It just rotates right there. He does have some waist rotation. The arms do not even go in and out. They just go forward and back. There is no bend at the bicep, um, no wrist rotation whatsoever. So it's very, very limited in articulation. Uh, the legs, they do kind of go in and out. You can see there and forward and back. There's no bend at the knee and no lower leg rotation whatsoever on this character. So again, it's kind of like an old school action figure, but you know, it looks pretty cool for what it is. Let's go ahead and bring out Sub-Zero. All right, so for Sub-Zero, you do get these two ice weapons. You get this kind of like hammer ice block which is cool. It's a translucent piece. I do like this a lot. I'm just a sucker for translucent. And then you get a sword right here, an ice sword, which is awesome too. This one's a little bit sharp, so just be careful, you know, if you have any kids that 
do play with this, but you get the ice sword here. Really cool weapons for Sub-Zero. All right, so again, there is a chase version of him, which is a translucent uh, blue. Now this, as far as the outfit goes, this one's way better than Scorpion. This, this character looks a lot better than Scorpion, but the articulation on him is exactly the same, so I won't even go over it. Um, so we'll take a close look at his head sculpt right here. I do like that a lot. I like the mask. I think the mask has a lot of detailing on there. I like the white eyes. And then you can see again, a lot of little straps. You can see the hole straps or the holes that are in the straps there. You got the buckles and you have this uh, soft material right over here in the back with the bandana. I really like the mask though. The face mask, the blue mask looks great. And then you have the blue outfit. You have his little logo right over here if you can make that out. But the outfit on here, I mean, again, the stitching on this, the outfit looks great. He's got all these little knives, you know, right here in those little buckles or straps. And then he's got some right over here in the wrist area and you can see the little arm guards or armbands that he has so really really cool this guy has a lot more you know going on with the outfit compared to scorpion but would be cool if these weapons were removable you got the belt right over here there's the front of the loincloth you know this is all textured right here which looks awesome and then there's the back shot of sub-zero so you can see a little bit more on the outfit and then the boots you can see the boots are kind of like different colored it's got a lot of going on in the outfit. I really, really like the, the design for this guy right here. And then as far as him holding on to his weapons, you just can slide this one on right there. And then the sword piece should be exactly the same thing. There you go. He holds on to these just great right there. And there is Sub-Zero. And there you have it, guys. There's my review. We were taking a look at the Funko action figures, Sub-Zero and Scorpion Chase based off of Mortal Kombat X. So this is a new thing, I guess, Funko is doing as far as their action figure goes. Now, this kind of reminds you of like a throwback to old school action figures, you know, because of the articulation and kind of, you got to see it in person and you have to, I guess, grow up with action figures to understand what I mean that this reminds you of retro figures. But you guys in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about these. Do you guys actually like these? Are you actually going to be picking these up? For the price, $9.99, it's not bad. I mean, we've gotten so many companies doing Mortal Kombat figures, and you know, I really like the pops that Funko is doing as far as the Mortal Kombat stuff goes, but as far as the action figure goes, I don't know. I guess we'll see how it, how the line does, if we get any other characters, because I didn't really like the Liu Kang one or the Raiden one, and Sub-Zero and Scorpion are some of my favorite characters, so we'll see if they make a Reptile, a Noob Sabat, Sector, Cyrax, even Goro, Kentaro, Mataro. I guess we'll, we'll find out down the line to see if they make any more of these. But you guys in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about this. Have you guys seen this in store yet? Let me know. Give the video a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you guys haven't. We'll see you soon for some more reviews. Thanks for watching. Well, subscribe to me.